Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today I'm going to show you how I like to make my very own grilled cheese hot dogs. Super easy to make, full of everything that's good in life, including cheese, and of course my favourite thing, hot dogs. Now people keep asking me, Greg, why are your hot dogs red? Well, the reason for that is, because that's how they come in the packet. <laughs> <laughs> they have a red skin on them, so uh, you can either leave the skin off or peel the skin on. No, hang on, what? <laughs> Depending on your preference. Firstly, I prefer mine skin off. But that's why the hot dogs are red, so just deal with it, people! Stop stressing about the colour of my hot dogs! And before I start making this, I've been getting a lot of people asking about where I get this yellow cheese that I'm using in my recipes lately. Well, it's just in the Coles set, and it's just Coles brand, 12 cheese slices, smoked flavour, which gives it this like orangey American coloured sort of style cheese. It's only like two bucks thirty or something for 12 slices, and it tastes alright too, and it makes stuff look really good. So that's the answer to those questions. Anyway, I'm dribbling on, let's start making this. Alrighty, so first things first, let's butterfly our hot dogs. Just cut them through. Try and keep them so they're still like joined. So you don't cut them in half. That'll just make this easier for later on. So I'll do that for both. And these going straight in the frying pan. Yep, that's warm. We'll start those cooking. Now I also get a lot of people asking, Greg, why don't you burn yourself all the time? Well, <laughs> because I'm not stupid. Well, I am because I burn myself sometimes. But Hey, I don't have to do it every time. It's my YouTube channel, I do what I want, okay? So while those dogs are cooking, let's start with the next exercise. Oh God, let me get a proper knife. And that's cutting this bread in half. Apparently this is also supposed to be joined. So if you can keep it joined, do it. If your bread just falls apart, then don't stress, like some people do. And now grab yourself a rolling pin and we'll start flattening these out. <laughs> Looks like a horseshoe. Might have to turn them over. Do both sides. I can smell those hot dogs, I better go and check on them. Hang on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, got some nice colour there. Yep, yep. Ah, yeah! Ugh, they look good. Alright, so now we flatten this out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We'll start melting some butter. So we've got some butter here and into a bowl I'll put some in that I'll be using today. Will that be enough? I don't think so. Hang on. Just a bit more. Yeah. And straight over to the nuker. And we'll just nuke that. Oh, who put this on top? Now it's stuck in the door. What the? Ugh. <laughs> Oops, I'll edit that bit out. Okay, uh, 10, 20 seconds. I just want to soften it because it wasn't soft. And if you'd left some butter out beforehand, it was soft. That would have been awesome. But you know me, always leaving things to the last moment. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Beep, beep. Oh, I've uh, put it in for too long. Have a look. Oh, now it's all totally melted. Never mind. But into there, I'm going to put some garlic powder. Just a bit, just add some garlicky goodness. Mmm, yum, yum, bubble gum. And let's mix this around. And let's come over here and check on these hot dogs again because they might be ready. Well, you know what, I might even leave those in. Yeah, I might leave those in. I'll just pour some butter over the top. Just pretend that this butter isn't liquidy. And we'll just spread that out over the back of the bun. Mmm, yum. Oh no, I got butter on my cutting board. Now my tomatoes are gonna slide right off and land on the wall when I try and cut them. Ah, rats. Too bad. So let's get these buns over. Butter side down. I might remove these. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, cripey. Oh, ah. 
what I'll do now is start adding the cheese. So I'll use some of this yellow cheese because it just looks so good, doesn't it? I love the vibrancy and the color of it. it. Makes me feel like an American when I've got the yellow cheese out. So I'll put that on. Da, 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 da. Give it a tear, put it there, put it there. And now we grab these hot dogs and we'll put those on. Da, 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 da. So I'm grabbing another cheese now, just a normal cheddar cheese, and I'll put that on. Now I'm just using two cheeses because basically <laughs> I've got different cheeses uh, in the fridge and I like to use those, so just use them. Use all the cheeses you can, I reckon. Life's too short just to use one cheese in a dish now, isn't it? Well, that's what I reckon. Throw a bit more cheese on. What I want to do now is add my sauces on. So I've got my American mustard, man. So I'll squirt some of that on. Next, so I've got some tomato sauce. Now this is tomato sauce and look, it's not expired. It's tomato ketchup. It's not barbecue sauce. It's just tomato ketchup, okay? It's just a different color. The stuff that you buy in the supermarket is so fake and artificial. But this is just a different colored tomato sauce, that's all. For all those people wondering, who left comments in the comments section complaining about the color of my tomato sauce. <laughs> people complain about everything. But don't worry, I'm used to it. So, let's add some of this on. This barbecue sauce. <laughs> barbecue sauce, <laughs> it's not, it's ketchup. Mmm. So now, that's that done. Make sure your frying pan's not too hot or else you'll be burning those buns. <laughs> and we're just gonna stick a lid on, just for a moment, just to try and get that cheese melting a little bit faster. And we just leave that on for like a minute, minute and a half or something, just to get that cheese melting. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you can always just flip the hot dog shut and maybe turn them over every now and then. But the key to this is to keep the heat of the saucepan nice and low so you don't burn the bread. Oh, that's the last thing you want to do, trust me. So let's take this off now. Oh! God! Woo wee! That is hot. So this cheese has started to melt a little bit, but let's just fold these flat now. Ah! Oh, and hear how crunchy that is. Oh, mmm. How good do they look? Better get them out of the frying pan. Oh, yum. Mmm. How about we cut one over and see what it looks like inside? So crunchy. Oh yeah. Mm. Alrighty, well there's the whole grilled cheese hot dog. Oh smells garlicky, cheesy, mustardy, tomato saucy, hot doggy. Oh it's, it's got all the smells. And I can't wait to dive on in, so let's go. Oh. Mm. Mmm. Oh. 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 Wow. Awesome. Yama. It's like garlic bread meets hot dog meets grilled cheese sandwich. The combination is just so delicious. Oh. Mmm. And that crunch. Yum. Oh boy, that's good. If you do make it, I'd love to know what you thought about yours. If you liked the video, let me know down below. Remember to click hello, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the grilled cheese hot dog I made for you today. It's just like garlic bread and a hot dog with a grilled cheese sandwich. It's awesome, it tastes delicious.